Hey everyone, it's MVP Dude 808 here, and today I want to show you guys how to change that boring old start button text. I told you guys I'd make a video on it. Well, here it is. Um, yeah, I take no credit for it. I just found it. I will have the link on my description where I found it. So there you go. I d I don't take any credit. There's no way I can find this out myself. So yeah, I'm not that crazy. Okay. <clears throat> so here we go. First thing you want to do is go into Google, yada yada yada. By the way, this is Rocket Doc. Please don't ask me what it is. Search it www.rocketdoc.com. I have a lot of questions on it. Okay, go to Google and type in resource. Uh, I forgot the R. Resource hacker. <laughs> resource hacker. Okay. Next, you'll see this link. I'll have the link on the side. Don't worry, it'll be in the description. Here we are, Resource Hacker homepage. Once you get here, you scroll down to the download section. Download sites for version 3.4.0. There is not going to be any US version, United States version, so just click the Europe. Just click the Europe. My voice is pretty lame still, so ignore it. Go to Europe. Yeah. Go to save to disk and save it wherever the heck you want. I and just for you know, just to show you, I'm gonna save it in my master and in my another folder. I actually already have it in here, but whatever, I'll delete it just for these. Eh, whatever. <clears throat> so save it in that folder. Yes, I want to replace it because I already have it. My third take of the video. Eh. So whatever. I forgot to plug in my mic. Anyway. So that's all you need. That's that's all you need for the internet. Okay, now I'm gonna go into my master folder. Go. Here we are. And I said I made it in another folder. In the uh, another folder. And here it is, resource hacker. Right click and extract here, or download WinRAR and extract here. Yes to all because I already have it. Don't worry about that. Okay, next you'll come up with something like this: resource hacker. Range icons aligned grid. Okay. Resource hack. What you want to do before you do anything, that's just so you now you have the program. Before you do anything, make a restore point. I'm not going to go into details about it. I'm just going to make one if you need it. It's the video right before this. Okay. Check it out. It's called How to Make a Restore Point, I think, or whatever. Okay. So look at that if you want any details on it. I'm just going to make it. All programs. I'm going to run through it really quick. Accessories. Uh, system tools, system restore. Now, why are we making? Why are we making restore point? You might ask. Well, we're making a restore point because we're going to be messing with the registry editors, and that, if you make any wrong mistakes, can totally screw up your computer. So, just in case anything happens, we're going to make a restore point so everything can go back to normal, and you can try it again if you want. Now, I will not take any responsibility for anything that happens to your computer. So, just know now you're at your own risk if you want to try this it works for me it works for hundreds of other people it might not work for you that's on your own this is your decision whether you want to continue on the video or not okay alright so create a restore point and click next I'm gonna name it before I did hack whatever hack and I'm gonna click create now as soon as it's done we're good to go almost actually there we go it's done it's 758 yep it's got it right click close now the next thing we need to do before we start doing anything at all to anything go to my computer I'm gonna open this up full version go to local to see go into your windows folder and look for your explorer it should be like right here explorer right click it and copy it now go straight into your C drive. Okay, you don't have to just put it wherever you want in a safe place, but I'm just gonna put it in my C. Right click, new folder, call it backup. So you'll know what the heck it is. So yeah, go in there, right click, and paste the Explorer in there. Okay, so now you have a backup of your Explorer. Wow. Okay, can you hear my sister crying? Hold on. Okay, let me go close the door. That's that's pretty crazy. I think she doesn't want to eat her food. Hold on. Okay.
probably, oh shoot. Okay, you'll probably still not still hear her, hear her, whatever. Yeah, she doesn't want to eat. Okay, her veggies. <laughs> okay, so now that we've made our backup, you're good to go. Here we go. This is the first thing you want to do. Go into your master folder or whatever, wherever you put your resource editor. Program, mine's right here. Let's go in there. Yeah. Go to file. Sorry, my voice is all poopy. It's that's just the way it is right now. Puberty. I was kidding. Probably is. So. Okay. Go into your Windows folder. Just remember, desktop. You can go to my computer. Local disk C. Windows. Look for your Explorer. Explorer. Okay. Now, after you got in here, go to String Table. Look for 37. Expand it. Click 1033. Three. Now you'll see this. See where it says Start? Change it to whatever you want. This is where you're in charge. I'm going to type in MVP. All right. Now, what you want to do is don't mess with anything else. That's very important. Now, you go to Compile Script. Then you go to File, Save As. In your Windows folder, type in, what, name it whatever you want. I recommend ex, um, naming it Explorer Hack or something of the sort, dot .exe, okay? I think that means executable. I don't know, whatever. Dot exe, just remember that. Explore hack. Dot exe, and click save. Now, let's exit the resource hacker file. Exit, and let's see if it's in there on my computer. Let's check it out. Let's go to local to see Windows. There it is. Explore hack. Don't worry, your explore still in there. Everything's good so far. Now, the next thing you need to do is this is where you start messing with the registry editors. It's very simple. Go into Reg Edit on Run and click OK. If you don't know where Run is, go to Start Run or click um, Windows plus R. And there you go. Okay, the Windows button plus R. Type in Reg Edit. Click OK. All right, you're almost done, guys. Next, you want to go to H key Local Machine. All right, now we're in there. Next, you go into software. Next, you go into Microsoft. Microsoft, 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 Microsoft. In. Okay. Next, you go into Windows NT. Windows NT. Current version. Okay. And then you just click on Win Login. Win Logon. Win Logon, actually. Just click that. Don't open it like that, just click when log on. Now you scroll down until you see shell. Now you'll see explore.exe. What did you name it? Remember what you named it. I named mine explore hack, remember? Dot exe. I click OK and you're done. Allow change if you have spybot or any kind of firewall or spyware blocker or anything. Okay? Now all I have to do is go to file, exit, restart my computer, and boom. It's done. This start button will now say MVP as soon as I restart my computer. Now, if something happens to your computer, I don't take responsibility for it, but if something does, I'm just going to show you how you should be able to fix it. You go to start, all programs, accessories, system tools, system restore, remember restore point? Restore my, my computer to an earlier time. Click Next. Now, the day you made it, remember I said before I did hack? You just click Next, follow it through, it'll restart your computer, and it'll be back to normal, guys. Alright, so this is how you change the Start button on your computer. Hey, everyone, I'm back. Uh, just to let you know, like, two second thing, uh, I'll just show you. It's changed to MVP, like I said, and my computer works fine. Everything is normal. So, yeah, if you guys need to use that restore point, go ahead. To change it back, go back into the registry editor, and instead of typing uh, the hack, you know, um, explore hack, just type it back to explore. Restart your computer, you can, you can delete that explore hack one. 
So there you go.